It's amazing to think of how much geology we pass every day when we drive down the road. When the highway department makes a road cut, in other words, they cut through a hill to make room for a road to come through, they expose a tremendous amount of geology and history of the area that all too often we drive past and really don't notice. Just about 10 miles north of Jacksboro, Texas, west of Fort Worth, there's a road cut that actually is a huge piece of history of the West Texas oil fields, the Permian Basin, or the Odessa oil fields. This is the area that was originally the Permian Basin that you're seeing here in blue. It was a inland sea that existed in West Texas that filled in, and as it filled in, it formed the Permian Basin, and all the plant and sea life formed the oil that we now get from the West Texas oil fields. And what this was was an inland sea. We just use this as an example here just to show you how this sea started filling in with sediments and as this West Texas Inland Sea filled up, the sediments became sandstone. And over a period of time, this area filled up to where it was completely filled, and, and it, it became what is now the West Texas Desert Area, actually. And as the time went on, when we started drilling oil wells and, and getting oil from that area, we realized that that Inland Sea, the sandstone that formed, from the filling in of that inland sea was actually exposed in an outcrop and this outcrop got exposed by the Texas Department of Highways and what is now what you looked at just a few minutes ago part of the road cut just north of Jacksboro and this is kind of a depiction of what this road cut looks like and what this is we're going to show you here at the very bottom of this we actually have sea bottom we have mud flats about halfway up and at the top of this formation, we actually found fossils of Carboniferous plants and trees. These were very old formations, and it's just in this outcrop area that you see right here. And you'll notice at the very bottom where we have the seabed, that, that very thin layer, we got seabed, about halfway up we got mud flats as it filled in. And then at the very top we got fern leaves, and these are very ancient, old, extinct fern leaves that existed during the Carboniferous period many, many millions of years ago. And I wanted to show you just some of the some of the close-ups of this from the fossils that we actually took from this area. This is the seafloor. This looks like it could be on a on a lake bed somewhere. And that's basically what it was. This is ancient seafloor. But this seafloor is is perhaps a billion years old. It's it's a very old formation. And about halfway up, this is some of the mudflat that we found. This is some of the, the fossilized mudflat when the Permian Basin was about halfway filled in. And then the, the water was getting very shallow, and, and it was becoming a mudflat. And over millions of years, it finally filled in, and all of a sudden, there was trees and ferns started growing on top. And what was once a, an inland sea filled in to the point that the trees and ferns took over, and it demonstrated the millions of years of history that we're actually seeing in this one outcrop. What you're seeing is just the very edge of the Permian Basin where it was filled in and this is just the very edge where the rest of the ground has eroded away and left us just this sandstone from that original formation. And here you see all three of them. This is from the, the three levels. The sea floor on the left, the mud flat in the middle, and the fern leaves on the right and some of the some of the oil some of the gasoline that may be in your car could have come from those fern leaves forming oil in fact some of the coal that's burned to generate electricity to run your computer some of that coal could have come from these very plants because these very plants were part of the formation that formed coal you can see these at the amazing gem and mineral museum we certainly invite you to stop it and visit us and be amazed at some of the beautiful things that nature has to offer us here at the Amazing Gem and Mineral Museum. Visit us in Helotus, Texas. We're just west of San Antonio, just outside of 1604. Admission is always free. We look forward to seeing you.